I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very good method of finding least common multiple and greatest common factor of numbers. So let's begin to understand this process. We call it prime factorization. The question here is how can you find LCM which is least common multiple and greatest common factor with prime factorization. So we'll learn all the three things in this particular video. So let's take two numbers to start with. Uh, 24 and uh, let's take 24 and uh, let's say let's take 30. So two small numbers 24 and 30. So we need to find what is least common multiple and what is the greatest common factor between 24 and 30 and the method used will be prime factorization. Now since the method is prime factorization let us first do prime factorization of 24 and 30. Okay, so 24. So 24, you could have 6 times 4 is 24, and 6 could be written as 2 times 3, and 4 is 2 times 2, right? So prime factorization of 24 could be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. It's good to write them in particular order least to greatest it helps right now let us do prime factorization for 30 also so it could be written as 3 times 10 right and 10 is 2 times 5 so for 30 prime factorization is 2 times 3 times 5 now what is the least common multiple and what is the greatest common factors so first let us find the greatest common factor. This is greatest common factor, right? That is the meaning of GCF. So to begin with, let's circle the common factors. So 2 and 2 is common factor. 3 is also common factor. Correct. So what we find is that we have common factors as equal to 2 and 3, right? So 2 and 3. So how do you get greatest common factor? You get greatest common factor by multiplying these two. So we get 2 times 3, just multiply them, which is 6. So for us, the greatest common factor is 6. Do you get the idea, right? So that becomes the greatest common factor. So we found one solution to this, and that is that the greatest common factor of the number 24 and 30 is 6, right? Now we'll find what is least common multiple. So LCM basically means least common multiple, right? So let's see how to find. So to find least common multiple between these two numbers, we need to consider all factors. So let's consider twos. Now we'll count in which group out of 24 and 30 we have more twos. So twos are more here, so we'll take three twos, which are more here, and we'll drop this two, right? So let's see how to find least common multiple. So least common multiple method is take the factors one by one. So we'll begin with two. In which one do we have more twos? In 24, so we get three of them. So we'll get three of them. Now let's consider threes. Both are one, one each. So let's consider the one in 30. So we'll consider this one. You have to consider them only once. Don't repeat, right? If it is common, drop one of them. That's the whole idea. And then what is left? How many factors of 5? Just one factor of 5, that to be 30. So we'll take that. So we'll multiply by 5. You get an idea. So that is how we get least common multiple. So now we can multiply. So it's good to multiply by 5 first, right? So we get 5 times 3 is 15, 15 times 2 is 30, 
twice 30 is 60, twice 60 is 120. Okay, or you could use calculator, no problem. So you say 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 equals to 120. Correct. So the least common multiple for, so we can write an answer. So least common multiple of 24 and 30 is 120. Do you get an idea? So the least common multiple is always a higher number than the greatest common factor. Remember that factor means smaller, multiple means higher. So that is easy way of doing, correct? So now as an exercise, what you can do is, let me write down a question for you. Numbers, you need to find LCM and greatest common factor. The numbers for you could be, uh, let us say, uh, I wrote here seven. Okay, so let me write 27. Okay, let's take the numbers as 27 and 36. Okay, so you can find LCM and greatest common factor for the numbers 27 and 36. You can apply this method which you've just learned. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.